Hey, what's up, guys? That's a pretty smart idea just to start on the screen at some times, you know what I mean? Just, just for the heck of it, because it's like, you know, it's gonna... You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna look at the, the deck anyways, why not just talk while have the intro here, you know what I mean? So, number one thing I just realized, I got my new, uh, what, whatchamahoosits, uh, right up here like that, you know what I mean? Haven't even really, uh, put this on Twitch yet. I noticed that this kind of blocks a little bit of the thing for the shadows. It's not super important right now, but like, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see it when you see it, man. Um... So this is the deck list that I'm working with right now. I think I need more Elf Song, but I'm a cheapo McPeepo, and I'm like, I guarantee you will get enough of the silvers, you know? I almost always get all the golds towards the end. If it's worth crafting, I'll craft more of it. I think Spring Green is definitely something worth crafting, but I already uh, use a lot of spirit crafting PDK stuff and other things like that, so I'm not super amped on using all my vials for other junk, right? So for now, general idea, right? Just look at the number of one drops. So. Three, 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 three. This should be three. That's why it says plus spring green and plus elf song too. I think elf song is definitely a card that needs to be more of, right? And then, um, yeah, I added fairy driver in this deck. It seemed to, I feel like you need more elf song via fairy driver. And I don't know, it seems okay. Beetle warrior is a enormous card. He's a two, three with storm. You get, you proc the storm practically all the time, right? Or did I say? Two, three. I meant, I meant three, four. Three, four with storm, right? He's practically, he's, he's practically a three, four on three all the time because of the way you play this deck. You have all these one drops all over the place and fairy circles and stuff like that. I really think that um, more fairy driver, more elf song, more spring green is necessary. But I'm cheap and I don't got the cards for it right now. So let's just play it real quick, right? Uh, my master score's been effing around for a bit, right? Um. Shoot, I haven't played for like over a month, so I'm, I'm super behind on rupees and just a little bit of rust and like lack of memory or knowledge. It, 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 it's like I read the nerf stuff, right? But sometimes I forget what's nerfed and it's like, oh, you gotta take that out of the deck, man. That's not a thing anymore. So, last word, draw a card. Draw a card and then it's returned to your hand. Then you turn. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm ahead of my hand. I might just do this. It looks fun. You no longer have to reserve nature's guidance for um for Zeroch, because you have another option now. Uh, fairy circle's not bad, but I'm, I'm gonna go with this. I think it's cool. I could also fairy circle to single fairy and then pick this up at a later time. It will buff it up, right? Am I wrong? Draw a card if this amulet is returned to your hand. At the end of your turn, give a random- yeah, just do it. Buff you up! Get some real usage out of you. Don't just throw you back in hand for no reason. And pick it up next turn. It's got a countdown. So I can pick it up, throw it back down, draw a card, draw a card, draw two cards. Who doesn't like drawing two cards instead of one? That's amazing. Are you playing Elf Child May? Nature Guides it. Elf Child May again. Or I guess double Elf Child May. You, you, you're right, Quasi Pro. That does seem like a valid point to be made right there. Who said that? I didn't say that. Ooh, maybe I should have. What's this card do again? This was actually this is still relatively new to me because it was just kind of like never really. Played. Put two fairies into your hand till the end of the way. All the flowers and playing on the look. Last you one. Blah blah blah. Whatever, dude. Come on, let's Have a good time. Was bad? Oh, okay, let's reread this. Put two fairies in your hand. Okay, fairy circle. Doesn't all ally flowers and the so gain, gain clash extra one damage some. Okay, yeah, I understand that. That makes sense to me. I believe ephemera means this just hits you for. Three. That's pretty nice. This fairy driver also isn't. Whenever now I'm gonna play, give it plus one on one storm. No, that's for later. Boom, baby. Fun employment was the best. You can argue that that a brambles was the way to go. That'll give it clash on here. But I wanna yeah, I wanna push more damage with these one. two. So I was like, this is probably just the way to go. I don't know for sure. I, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe the brambles was a better way to go there. Might be completely wrong. Spring green, as one of. It's all you really need if you think about it. Okay, this is a little bit annoying. That's also a little bit annoying because you're gonna shoot some, you know. But it's cool. So we can play a fairy driver, <laughs> play a fairy, and that'll be a three storm damage fairy right away, which is ridiculous. I'm not wrong, right? You give this plus one, and then this will have plus one attack too. That could just hit here. 
But I think um, evolving the Fairy Driver is kind of cute. The fairy Driver could evolve hit here. Being at a 5-3. Five, five, it's not horrible. It's not, it's not great, though. Brambles. Okay. Uh... You buzzing, flitting insects. Hey, let's play. Make yourself useful. I could just run this in here and just not waste my evolve, but I think it's. I think his evolve is going to be used to clear this, right? It just has to be. So I have to. You're done for. Pretty bold for a bu Let me hear you scream. You can get this one. Hey, this can actually hit for three right here, right? This is so good looking. Cause the thing is, right? He just has to. It it already has the plus one from Fairy Driver, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, whatever. You can get this one. Finally, a break. Just, I mean, his face was so juicy. Dropping down to 11, I still have a 5 3. He, he has to trade that. And this is just chilling. But okay. It won't be long now. Uh, Forrest is an expert of dealing with ambush, my right? So this might just be, you know, cleared for freezies. I knew he would have to use his evolve on my evolve, so I think my evolve was pretty worth it, right? Two, one, two, one. It's not even that much damage, really, with that roach. I might have to save the nature's guidance for something with the roach, or I can just... Water Brambles, Spring Green, Nature's Guidance, the, uh, right away. Let's use right away. I want to see my options. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This card can be played when both a targetable ally and enemy card are in play. Is that only? Don't hurt me. Um. I was a little bit paranoid about playing the Rhinoceros and this not working. I... I'm gonna test this out on something else, right? This card can be played when both a targetable allied and enemy card are in play. I think it means to say this card can only be played when both a targetable allied and blah blah are. Because I, I, I would see if I can use this when there's nothing on board. I guess I could have actually hovered over it right there, see if I could have played it. It would glow, or it, it wouldn't let me play it unless it's playable, right? Now it's guaranteed I can't play it. That's what I was trying to avoid, right? That's okay. Spring green to brush. Seems right. Turn allied follower. Yeah, so it's like that. Alright. I think this is better to do. Click on the right one, yeah? Ooh, I almost got the double beetle warrior. That'd be nice. I'm okay with the single two though. Hey, let's play. Oh come on! So I go with the spring greens instead of the double fairy, just cause he's he's able to shoot a lot of things really easily, right? And this is like gonna buff something up, so it's nice to buff things up, yeah. Okay, that's acceptable. We got another Beetle Warrior ready to go. Oh, no we don't. Oh, yes we do, because of that. There we go. So now... This one's not big enough to kill. Yeah. How much damage do I have here? Probably just not enough, right? 
It doesn't matter how much the cost is with Fairybringer to make something zero, because I don't have enough space on board currently to actually push through to face. Um, at the moment, a Beetle Warrior with an Evolve just a hit here is better than... Nothing. Nothing much, really, right? Like, if we only had one ping for this, it'd be nice. Then we can evolve something, and then Beetle Warrior can come down, and we can push six damage minimum or something like that, but this is, like, not it. Okay, though. Fairies, assemble! I'm making my roach real useless looking right now. I'm sorry. So the roach might have wanted to come down there because he's almost at zero health, and we actually have no more cards in hand and no real way to refill too easily. It's love. What? Isn't that... That's about game for him, right? Don't I just... Two, three, six... Am I actually short? Oh my gosh, I'm short. Is he gonna do some crazy combo here and kill me? Am I? Three plus three is six. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, come on! I was you like, wait a minute. Now. For some reason, whenever I see this glow, I think he has ward. Oh, you know, like this is not ward, and it's like I have to throw this in. It's like, no, you don't, dude. You don't have to throw anything in, man. You're living the life. Okay, not 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 half bad, right? I think um, I think I'm I'm taking too long on some of my turns, so I'm gonna speed it up just a bit if I can. It's getting later at night. I was like, uh, so I got some questing. Might as well record a video because I was doing the PDK video right before this, right? And that was that was pretty good, pretty fun, right? Mm, reasonably okay with the deck, right? Like I'm, I I, I think it uh, it's it's good for dragon. I feel like Dragon has kind of had a weird myself. slope of just going out of control with like fight. neutral ramp and all that. Uh, I think we have nothing to shoot here. And I think double fairy circle isn't the best. Okay, that's slightly better, I think. But yeah, like, Dragon has slightly gone into this weird thing where it's like anything with ramp in general for a game is like. You gotta be real careful with doing with ramp, right? I think the Goblin's good. I don't know what Fairy Circle does. I mean, I, I know what it does, but like, I don't know what it really does How do you do? here. I think putting a threat down first is better. I'm gonna push damage if I need to, you know? This is like, oh, push one damage, right? Next turn, I can go Fairy Circle, then Single Fairy. Instead of Fairy Circle and then Double Fairy, or, you know, Single Fairy, Single, Single, uh, Goblin. Okay, now we go Brambles. The show. Not to say I wasn't gonna brambles anyways with this very quick play thing. I'm just saying, you know, it's just like you don't have to do this. Question is, is brambles worth picking up with the nature's guidance? I'm, 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 I'm a little unsure. I think it is now. I think this definitely like kills us, right? Not gonna beat a warrior or whatever, right? Pick this up so we can get more of it. Cause fairy driver's gonna be ridiculous. We have all the fairies in the world. Question is, do I play this now? Is it worth it? I don't think so. I think uh goblin to fairy circle is the way to go. We just need to develop the fairies here and we want to give the brambles to an actual follower rather than just play this and have nothing on board, right? So we can go brambles to like I don't know, a bunch of fairies or something. Ideally, though, you want to go with the fairy driver first, or something like that. At 
This is an okay Brambles, though. And so I would like to get rid of one of these. If he happens to kill this, right? I like. Give me that. If he happens to kill this, you don't want to overdraw on the fairies, right? So I'm gonna play another one. And then we're ready to go crazy with the fairy driver, right? Ideally, Ephemera would be down like the last game where we were able to get a 3 damage Storm Fairy for, you know, just kind of one. But uh, if, you, if you don't have it, you just don't have it, right? If he kills this one, I get another one back in hand. He's not going to kill it. That's okay. We can use this to trade off here and just... Like, actually having a Magical Illusionist on board is kind of nice sometimes. Because um, you can honestly just keep killing it. Especially if you have a Fairy Driver and a bunch of fairies ready to go, right? so close to what I want. I would love to set up this ephemera and just know I'm just gonna knock you the frick out, bro, but it's not happening. Like that. If I set up ephemera this turn, next turn could be fairy driver and double fairy. Double fairy would mean I can do six damage to his face, but if I were to kill this, I, I, I would need to kill it, like, soonish. Right? I mean, I don't need to kill it. It just drops down to two or something. That might have been the wrong call. Yeah, I'm scared of this damage, this though. Don't hold the Come gather I kill another one. Ah, uh, I kind of forgot that he draws a card. Stay away. Doesn't really do anything other than getting rid of that, right? I'm gonna hit face. You can get this one. No. I'm not really concerned. He has like too much Earth Sigil. Something that's really nice is actually that if um, let's say this were gone, and he ran out of all points, right? This were on board, and this were like this. He actually couldn't do anything. He'd be stuck be right now. there. I didn't really want to kill that, but at the same time, I didn't want to take that damage. It was too much. I should get that ephemera is kind of a one-way proc. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. If only. You buzzing, flitting insects. Hey, let's play. Make yourself useful. Hey, let's play. Make yourself useful. Yeah, you can get this one. You can evolve this hit here and then hit the second one afterwards. That'll kill both of these off. But I think just evolving the like, face is pretty strong. Or is it ignore face or something like that? I want this elf song to come out and go crazy though, right? Next turn could be fairy, 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 elf song. You could argue that I could have tried to save fairy driver for a, a later play, but um, that's eh, okay. This is evolve right here though. It's, it's pretty. Annoying. Evolve here would be ridiculous. Yeah, you can get this one. No. Actually, no. Oh my God, Levi. Right on six, right? The name's yeah, Levi. that was that was definitely the wrong move. Had I hit Ow. here and then hit here, that would have been possible at all. Oh my God, that was the hugest misplay. Figure out he always knows I'm only yet. like a few seconds too late, man. Oh, The right number. Don't hold the applause. Come gather round. I basically just lost, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, my baddie. <laughs> I have to kill that because I only have four health right here. Slipped up. There's nothing for me to do with only these fairies in hand, though, right? I had almost a perfect setup, 
You know? Ooh. Kill me with that style, bro. But we don't got time for this. It's a YouTube video, man. Oh, did it happen anyways? Oh, cool. Okay, whatever. GG's, man. That was all me. Because, I mean, I, I was like, oh, is it? This is what I'm talking about, how you... I mean, it's something I should have known anyways, but how, like, better players, right, don't just think about their own plays, they think about their opponent's potential plays, right? Some of the... Oops. Some of them are, like, super obvious, right? Like, oh, if I don't kill his Bahamut, his Bahamut's gonna hit me in the face, right? Everybody knows that, right? But you have to account for the number of play points they have in hand, their potential cards, with regard to the meta, right? Or... Yeah, yeah, I would say the meta, including tech choices, right? And if this is a bunch of technical jargon for you guys, right, what I'm saying is what's popular for power ranking, a.k.a. you know, winning a lot, right, and ranking up, what's popular at the time to rank up and do a bunch of shenanigans, yeah? Not necessarily the worst. I don't need this now, but it's... I think in this matchup I don't need this, right? Water Fairy to Brambles. Okay, what I'm saying is essentially what's popular at the moment, you know, and thought of as to be... Oh, wait, you could banish that right away. No, he can't! Not on zero! There's just time to do it. Do it now. So what's popular at the time, right, the most effective tactic available, META meta, right, at that very moment... No point in doing this, right? Yeah, he's not gonna rush something out with Storm, so I'm gonna Fairy Circle. And then just throw on a Fairy. Hey, let's stay away. Stop. So the most effective tactic available at that current time, right? That's the current meta. Because, I mean, meta from like three months ago during a different patch, that is no longer important, applicable, whatever you want to say, right? Okay, let's just throw down everything. Away. Yeah. Hey, let's play. Stop. Ah. So all I'm saying is, you can't account for everything. There's only 40 cards in the deck or whatever game you're playing. And so, the best players, right, will take time to see basically all the options that the player has, right? They have this many cards. What can they do with this many play points with that many cards, right? It's like, oh, they can't do this play if there's not enough cards for it, right? That's actually fantastic for me. I get my little fairy dude back. And, um... I want to keep these fairies so I can fairy driver the frick out of them. Uh, I would like this to get Storm, but that's like a turn away or something. Is that another Brambles? I think I have enough fairies to work with anyways, then. Float the one. No, no. That's okay. So, as I was saying, God, I'm so bad at like commenting. The okay, I'm gonna ignore commentating the magic. Just commentate this, right? So, the most effective tactic available at the time, right? That's all that matters. The current time, because you can't account for all of history, right? Of all the cards that ever exist, you only have 40 cards in the deck. So, whatever is currently the strongest is what you worry about, right? And you have to think about what's popular, right? Like, Kujul on turn 4. That is a super common play that you're going to see a bunch because it's an amazing play most of the time, right? On turn 4, most things can be banished because not many things at turn 4 have more than 3 defense. And so it's what you look to avoid, right? And in that last matchup, right, current runecraft, especially, you know, when you know it's dirt rune, you know they're going to freaking shoot you. Okay, he was aware that this was going to disappear, so he didn't want to get double the clash. Uh, I'm a little unsure how important that is, though, with this fairy driver shenanigans. Um, shoot, I said the ephemera first, right? It's got to be the best play. The moment these things do two each, I can hit, I can hit, and I can shoot with this. Okay, I'll take that risk. Oh wait, that's not a risk I wanted to do like that. Oh, that's cool. You can get this one. What in the? All right, I gotta stop commentating this. Let's play. So, current 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 meta, right? What they do, what you have, right? Last game, 
Dirt Rune, right? Dirt Rune always has freaking the, the, the old Levi, young Levi, right? Young Levi comes out on 6. He had a uh, Earth Sigil ready to proc. Perfect to clear my 1-3... Oh, that's not Ephemera. The real battle begins. Perfect to clear my 1-3 Ephemera and my 3-3 three, three Fairy Driver and some other thing, right? It was ridiculously strong and I just completely ignored it. A new tribunal would be a play too. That's why I actually played the fairy. I was considering playing the elf child main instead of the fairy. But uh, it's okay. Mm. I wanna kill this. I wanna just shoot that, right? What's the easiest way for me to do that though? Ephemera. Fairy evolve hits here. May. You do the same exact play, though, basically. Just clear the, the one drop, and then... Uh, it's so annoying. The Fairy Evolve hit will kill this because of Ephemera. And then this will just shoot there, which is fine. And then I want to go to the... It's 4 one, one after that, right? I'll take it. Fun employment was the best! Oh, let's play. I don't like it, but... Got to do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop commentating this match completely and just finish my thought. Right. So the play that he did was really easy to see, but when you just play into play, you know, and you commentating stuff, right? All you do is focus on smork, smork, smork their face in, right? And just like you basically just smork their face in. And you just don't ignore the super obvious Bahamut's gonna hit your face, right? Otherwise, you just smoke their face, and that's, that's pretty much what you do. And that was really unfortunate. It could have killed this, but it didn't. I wasn't actually accounting for that at all, but that was a luck thing too, right? Fitty Fitty. A little bit of a tough time either way. If I play the Fairy Driver right now and then go double Fairy and I hit him in the face, right? I don't even do that much damage. But if I uh, use up all my resources, I'm not going to get the Beetle Warrior Storm. AKA, if I do this, plus this, and this, I'm going to need to keep the Goblin so I can do this with two other... I'll keep it. You buzzing, flitting insects. Hey, let's play! Make yourself useful! Hey, let's play! Make yourself useful! Yeah. You can actually... No. You can you actually just, now. um... Demis here and lose my whole board, but that's something you can't really avoid. I mean, you can avoid like playing completely into it by keeping stuff in hand when you still have the ability to play them. That's not the main reason I'm doing. I'm keeping the goblin though. The main reason for that is keeping the beetle. I want the beetle, you know, hit his face in. Okay, this would be the perfect time for him to have like another Kujol or something like that. He plays Kujol, evolves, vanishes this, hits something else. And then he would still have three play points to work with. Could be a Heavenly Hound or something. It would get two four ward just just for two play points there. And then another sacred plea would be pretty good. Your evil deeds end now. If he has that exact play, that'd be pretty amazing. Let us conclude. Heavenly Hound and Sacred Plea. That would actually be pretty amazing. Okay. Pretty close. Not quite the same, but Close, close, close enough, right? Uh, ooh, just enough time, right? You buzzing, flitting insects. Gobby's feeling hungry. Things gotta go face. No! Ah! It's a shame that these two don't actually gain the damage from Fairy Driver. I thought that it gains it permanently. Apparently, I'm wrong. Whenever an allied fairy comes into play, give it 1-0 and storm- Oh, until the end of turn. Okay, never mind. I just thought it said give it 1-0 and storm. Cause, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like you're gonna have storm the next turn, really. Didn't seem like something worth mentioning too much. This is very bad. He's got 6 damage on board. He already gets the 2 automatically, so it's kind of like worrying about, you know, 8, but not really, because you- it, 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 Oh, I'm dead here. Hey, let's play. Hey, let's play. 
I don't know what I could potentially draw because I'm an aggro deck, right? An aggro deck, once it runs out of steam, just flat out kind of loses. I'm just hoping that, you know, I can slow him down to where he doesn't kill me. He might just have a 4-3 on board and then just be living. He has to worry about me killing him from 5 though, right? Just like these two and then just get a, an ephemera and something else would kill him almost. Okay, that's, that's a goner no matter what. It's like if I got a, uh... If I got something that drew me a card, then I played an Ephemera, then I might be able to push just a little bit more damage. I don't think anything draws me that many cards, though. Okay, that's actually the end of this video. Catch up with you guys during the next one. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, donate, as always. Just do it. Nobody ever does it. Because, you know... I'm not worth donating to because, you know, you don't want me to starve and die, you know what I mean, like that. But P P Peter Singer, check him out. I'll start the next video with Peter Singer. Bye. <laughs>